Which brings me to sin number three. <laughs> Impure thoughts. I have them all the time. Good ones, too. I'm having one now. What up, Quebec, though, man? It's cool. It's different there. Montreal, Happen and Spot. Which is different. I enjoy a cigarette, but Lord Jesus, they smoke in Quebec like it's a cure for cancer. According to an article in a recent Esquire magazine, the magazine for men, why men have a staying power of an average of four minutes. Four minutes. Why, that's great news if you're boiling an egg. <laughs> On the other hand, in the same article, it says that orangutans can keep it up for 15 minutes. <laughs> Why, what is that ape's number, and do I have to buy him dinner? <laughs> Remember you used to drink everything like that when you were a kid? Come running in from outside? I did not! <laughs> and you read the paper and it'll tell you right there, huh? Right there. If you're making 40,000 bucks a year today, by the time you retire, when you're 65, in order to maintain the same quality of life, you'll need to have a million bucks in the bank. A million bucks. <laughs> Just chew off my medical alert bracelet and run into the friggin' traffic, eh? <laughs> a million bucks. So what I'm doing to plan for the future, hmm? I'm eating a little bit of cat food each day. I'm from Newfoundland, people. Yeah. 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 We got the one guy in the front row, though. He's a, he's a bit of a doubter, aren't you, sir? <laughs> hey? You're looking at me like, yeah, oh, no way that beige guy's for doing that. But <laughs> well, think about it now, folks. I'm half East Indian, hey, and half Noofy. <laughs> half Noofy, and half e Now, could I have not fallen into the two most ridiculed groups of people? <laughs> Every joke ever made about anybody's about me, for Christ's sake. <laughs> I'm a poofy. <laughs> I hope I never lose my hair. Guys will do anything to get their hair back. Have you noticed that? Any half-baked scheme that's been okayed by the government for about a minute, they're in there. <laughs> May cause a few sexual side effects. Yeah, but I'll have my hair, right? <laughs> a few sexual side effects. How many could there be? <laughs> they don't have to say negative sexual side effects. You know damn well. Sexual side effects, it's not, it's not gonna be gigantism. Yeah, not only I got my hair back. <laughs> my dick is huge. Some of the more perceptive of you might notice there's something different about me. Can't quite put your fingers on it. But you know, there's something strange about that sassy siren. <laughs> I have a wish. Front rows like no friggin' kidding. <laughs> My wife has an ass like JLo. No, Jello. You know the song. Dun, da, dun, da, dun. Dun, da, 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 dun, 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 the worst year in hockey history and everybody's like, yeah, I like that song. <laughs> That's because there's backwards messages in it. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. You will love hockey. <laughs> you love hockey more than your wife. <laughs> if your wife won't let you watch hockey, get a different wife. <laughs> Like, I was just at a bar and made eye contact with some guy, and he was like, hey, did you see that? See that gay guy checking me out there? 
he touches me, you know, I'm going to kill him, right? And I'm always like, yeah, all right. Because usually the guys that are like this are always the ones that have nothing to worry about anyway, you know? <laughs> like, I'm not that gay, all right, you know? Yeah. Why are there so many songs about rainbows and what's on the other side? Rainbows are visions, but only illusions, and also they're symbols of gay pride. I just wrote that part. So we've been told, and I choose to believe it. It's something that you're supposed to be. It looks like we found it, the rainbow connection. My father, his husband, and me. La -da -da -dee -da -da -dee. The only thing I don't miss about Canada is the winter the cold, the snow. But however, there is one snowstorm that I actually would have paid money to have been in. There was a freak snowstorm in Florida around 92, 93 that I would actually pay top dollar to have been at. Just to see the look on all those vacationing Canadian faces. <laughs> I would have paid top dollar to have been in front of those timeshare condos when those Canadians woke up and went. I would have been right there with Pop and Pop. Girl. <laughs> it's snowing. <laughs> Were you from Toronto? <laughs> it's not even snowing there. Good evening, everybody. I'm John Maloney, and yes, I have genuinely been mistaken for a lesbian. <laughs> well, some of you are thinking, oh my God, Katie Lang has let herself go. My uh, cousin has a serious uh, gambling problem, so much so that his wife left him, but he's trying to win her back, you know, and I think that's, uh, that's important. Nova Scotia, eh? And what a glorious, beautiful spring day you had here. Unbelievable, unceasing, biblical torrent of pissing down rain. Horrible, gusting winds that are blowing up my pants leg. Standing at the harbor front crying bitter tears of pain as tiny icicle pellets shoot into my eyes. Well, ha ha ha, pussy from California. Oh, this is it, too. This is the year I've decided I'm getting into shape. I'm serious. Starting next Monday, because I have plans this weekend. Uh, but starting. Starting Monday, this is the year. And again, I've decided lots of reasons for getting into shape. I mentioned I'm 37. And I think at 37, it's about time I got a little sexier. You know what I mean? Because I'll be honest, I am not getting any nicer. I gotta tell you that much. Yeah. <laughs> that good personality, that is done. That is done. I gotta, sexy must start now, all right? <laughs> okay. Or Monday. But still, soon. Um... That's your pet name for me. She calls me Dink. I actually quite like it. I, I call her Chunky Monkey. Yeah. yeah, like not to her face, I'm not an idiot. Pizza is the best all-time married food, right? The minute you realize you're going to order a pizza, that is better than any spontaneous sex you'll have with your spouse. Just the way it unfolds, isn't it? What do you want to eat tonight? I don't know, what do you want to have to eat tonight? Girl that knows what those knobs do on that square hot thing over there. <laughs> There's really not much to eat here in the house, really. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? <laughs> Want to get a pizza? <laughs> you complete me. <laughs> Women at a strip club are like, this place is great. <laughs> oh my God. Carol, Carol, we have to come here every week. I swear to God. Sorry, sir. We have to come this is this is kind of a weird thing for me to be wondering about, but sometimes I wonder, maybe it's a question for the guys out there. If you had to, like, absolutely had to, Stephen or Chris? <laughs> Steve.
Stephen, right? <laughs> Can you imagine the letter from George W. Bush? giving advice to Barack Obama? Can you imagine? Because I can. <laughs> you got it right here. <clears throat> Dear 44. <laughs> He's the 40, 44th president. Dear 44. 43 here. <laughs> Did you know my daddy was number 41? It's a true story. <laughs> That's what we call each other on special occasions. He says, Merry Christmas, 43. And I say, Happy Holidays, 41. Because that's the more particular, that's the, that's the right way to say it. Are you guys excited about the royal wedding? That's gonna be fun, isn't it? Oh, I'm holding out for the royal divorce myself. I'm more, it's coming. But oh, I can't wait, because that Kate Middleton. She's all right, isn't she? Oh, that's a good, that's a good buy for the royal family. Got all her own teeth, not related to them. Perfect. <laughs> it's good. It's good. She's going to be great. I say make her queen now. I could get behind that. A hot queen, a quilf. I, that's awesome. <laughs> right? Oh, my God. Did you see Oprah when she opened her school in Africa? It was the most hilarious thing. She's like this. It is my great honor to be here today. <laughs> in Africa. I am Oprah. <laughs> Folks, I'm filthy. I probably don't need to tell you that, but I am. I say dirty words all the time, but I can't tonight. So if I say something, to, I need you guys to help me. What's your name, sir? Jim. Jim. <laughs> Jim. Don't be afraid, Jim. I won't hurt you. And Jim, if I cross the line at any point tonight and you guys get nervous and you're like, oh, that little hobbit, she's getting too dirty. <laughs> you yell out, get her, Jim. <laughs> and I'll lean over and Jim can come up and smack my arse. <laughs> You ready, Jim? We as Newfoundlanders, we should embrace the word. Make it our own, take it over. What's up, my Newfie? <laughs> my Newfie, my Newfie. Newfie what, Newfie, please? What's it take for a Newfie to get a bear out here? And it's in my penis. Penis, penis. Penis, penis, penis. I made you with this penis, penis. Tim Hortons in Afghanistan. You know, hey, built a Tim Hortons for the soldiers. How addicted to Tim Hortons coffee are we? <laughs> the soldiers needed one. All right, men, tomorrow morning, 4.30, we attack the Taliban. Oh, 4.30. Who's doing a Timmy run? Who are, you, are you going? Are you going? Yeah, come on, Tim. Yeah. Get a tray. Get a tray. Since I got to Toronto, I've been watching this show. I really enjoy it. It's uh, where they take a bunch of sort of, uh, like, amateur... Uh, uh, sports enthusiasts, and they pit them against actual professional athletes. You know the one I'm talking about? Uh, no, 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 not pros versus Joes. It's um, Leafs hockey. Leafs hockey. That's that's what it's called. Love the potato. Amazing thing, the potato. You can bake them. You can fry them. You can boil them. You can you can eat the bastards raw. And if you leave them under the sink, they turn into more potatoes. <laughs> How there was a famine is beyond me. 
I, the, the iris, they must have just run out of sinks. <laughs> ha, ha. I mean, really, can't we, we, listen, we have to give terrorists a little credit. A little, come on, they're good at what they do. Do you really think you're gonna catch somebody suspicious, really? You, you think, what the hell does someone suspicious actually look like? <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, officer? What? I saw somebody suspicious. Well, what was he doing? That Scooby-Doo tiptoe thing. And just surprising sights you're driving in towards Sydney. I look over, I see the Licka Chick restaurant. Oh, my God. No way. <laughs> That, that can't be legal, is that even? <laughs> Unless you've got a baby chicken deep fried on an ice cream cone, that seems to be stretching the boundaries of civil discourse right there. What a beautiful city. What a nice people, nice couples. Stability, compare that to me, I travel around like a circus freak. Never married, I date girls at least half my age, no kids, you end up facing yourself in the mirror. Like, what are you? Some kind of a genius!